morning graders. I hope you guys are all doing well. I'm Miss Cleveland, your student teacher, and today we're going to be learning something new and I'm really excited to teach this to you guys. So today we are going to be adding equal groups of objects to prepare to learn about multiplication. So to start, let's look at what we're doing. We're going to be using repeated addition. So what is repeated addition? Repeated addition is the adding together of equal groups. And that word equal, that's going to be our key word for today. So equal means the same. So when we look at our jars of cookies, we want to make sure that they are all equal. So to start, let's count and make sure they are all equal before we start adding. One, two, three, four in the first jar. One, two, three, four in the second jar. We're good so far. One, two, three, four in the third jar. So there's four in each of these jars, which means each jar has an equal amount. They're all the same. Four, four, four. So now we can start adding. So how can we find out how many cookies there are all together? If you said we add, you're correct. Now, do we just add the first jar of cookies? No, we want to make sure we add each jar of cookies or each group of cookies. So to start, I want to look at our number sentence. And a number sentence is where you take one group's amount and you put it here and you're going to add it to the next group and add it again to the next group. So that's why it's called repeated addition, because you're going to add one group plus another group plus another group, and each group's the same. So to start, let's find out how many are in each group. Let's count. One, two, three, four cookies. So we're going to put four in the first blank of our number sentence. We're going to add the next group. So let's count. One, two, three, four. So we have four plus four plus, what do you think this one's going to be? Four. One, two, three, four. Because they all have to be the same. So now I want you to solve this problem. So let's see if you can solve it. Okay, let's see. You got it right. 4 plus 4 is 8. And 8 plus 4 is 12. If you said 12, give yourself a pat on the back because you are one smart cookie. Okay, so now let's try another example. So let's take this cookie jar away. We're going to add this cookie jar. So let's erase our number sentence. Okay. Let's look at our new problem. So let's start by looking at our first jar. How many are here? One, two, three, four. Plus our second jar. One, two, three, four. Four plus our third jar. There's one, two, three cookies in our third jar. Hmm. So I want you to answer the question Can we add these together for our repeated addition sentence? Yes or no? You should have said no. No, we cannot add these together because we have four, one, two, three, four, four, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three. And remember our keyword for today is equal. Every group has to 
to be equal. And if they're not equal, we can't use repeated addition to solve it. So, 4 plus 4 plus 3, we can't do it. We need to have 4 plus 4 plus 4 in order to do repeated addition. Okay, so now we have a new example problem. And the first thing we need to do is check and see if they're equal so we can see if we can add them using repeated addition. So let's see, let's count our first group. One, two, three. Let's check our second group. One, two, three, we're good. Our third group, one, two, three. And our fourth group has one, two, three. So we're good, we can add them because all four groups have three stars in them. Okay, so now we need to write a addition sentence for this problem, but we don't have one up here this time. So I want you to think in your head, how do we write a repeated addition sentence and see if you can remember from the last example. So to write a repeated addition sentence, it looks like this. So first off, how many groups do we have? One, two, three, four groups. So we need four lines. So this is how you write it. One group plus your second group plus your third group plus your fourth group equals what? That's what we're going to find out. Because look, we have our first group, we're going to write the number here. Our second group, we're going to write the number here. Our third group, we're going to write the number here. And our fourth group, we're going to write the number here. So, your next question I want you to answer is, how can we find out how many stars there are? If you said we add Give yourself some claps because you got it right. Now again, are we just going to add this group? No, we're going to add all four groups together to get our number. So let's count. What's in our first group? One, two, three. So we're going to write that here. Let's go to our second group plus one, two, three. So we're going to add our second group, three. Let's go to our third group, one, two, three. And our fourth group, one, two, three. Okay, that's a lot of numbers. So now I want you to add three plus three plus three plus three. And let's see what you get. Okay, let's check to see if you're right. Three plus three is six. Six plus three is nine. And nine plus three is 12. So if you got 12, give yourself a battle on the back. You're so smart. You're able to add up all four groups together to get your total. Okay, so now I wanna do a new problem. I'm gonna take this one away and put this one up. And let's erase our sentence. And let's see if we can do this one. So let's count our first group. We're gonna draw our addition sentence. So our first group has one, two, three. Now we're gonna add our second group. One, two, three. Draw our line, put our three. We're gonna add our third group. One, two, three. Plus our fourth group. Let's count. One, two, three, four. Equals what? So I want you to tell me, can we do this problem? I want you to answer out loud or in your head, and I'm gonna come back and tell you if we can add this repeated addition sentence or not.
If you said no, you are a rock star. We cannot add this together because all the groups are not equal. They're not the same because we have one, two, three groups of three and then one group of four. So they're not equal, which means we cannot do repeated addition. Okay, so now that you guys know how to do this, and I think you guys are gonna do awesome at it, I want you to go do the two activities we have up in Seesaw. The first one, you're gonna get problems like the first example we have, where the number sentence is already made for you, and you need to count how many is in each group, and write it here, and then you need to solve it. And the second worksheet, you're gonna get one like the one we just did. You're not gonna have the sentence here, and you're gonna see how many groups there are. So in this one, we have four groups, and you're gonna have to write your own repeated addition sentence. So good luck, you guys. I know you're gonna do awesome, and I miss you guys, and I hope you guys are having a great time at home and that you're constantly learning, and I will see you guys next time.